BBC Three Counties Radio, Thursday morning at 11 today. I'll be tackling your consumer problems. You can email me now if you wish, jvsshow at bbc.co.uk. But first, a new poll shows that 93% of people in this country think it's OK to use force against intruders who break into people's homes. One in six of those who responded to this poll said that they'd be prepared to personally use force if necessary. Whilst one in four people who've responded to similar polls this week by an insurance company, they've admitted that they would grab for a weapon if they found someone in their home. A cricket bat or a snooker cue were apparently the top choices, although some people said they'd use a lamp. Well, Jack Hart is from the campaign group The Freedom Association. He believes, he says he believes, these findings accurately reflect the feelings of British public. And it's an important right for people to be able to defend their own property. Well, we'll hear exactly what he wants to say in just a second. But I want to hear from you as well. Do you think it's foolish or brave to confront a burglar in your own home? 08459 455 555. Jack Hart from the campaign group The Freedom Association. Good morning to you, Jack. Good morning. Morning. So, do you think it's foolish or brave to confront a burglar in your own house? Do you know, the, the problem is, in, in the current legal structure, it actually almost is foolish to try and tackle a burglar because you're going to end up being the person that's viewed as the criminal at the end of the day, and that's really what we want to change. People should be, you know, have the freedom to defend their own private property. When I was in Argentina at uh, Christmas time this year, and, of course, they have a, a slightly different attitude in Argentina, I was having a chat to some, some friends of mine who were burgled, and they were saying that over in that country, if you, if you find a burglar in your house and if you kill that burglar because you've, you've absolutely lost your temper at someone breaking into your house, when the police come, they'll actually help you to lift the burglar and chuck him out onto the street so that you don't get in any trouble. Um, that's a very different mentality, but do we really want things to get like that here? I'm not expecting things to get like that here. What I'm expecting and hoping for is the fact that people that are burgled have people you know, having breaking into their houses are supported by the police. When they take action, they feel it is necessary to defend themselves. The problem is the current law is so vague and really stacked against the person that takes the, you know, the action into their own hands that it really isn't fair. I thought the law was supposed to be proportionate based on the kind of force that you use. So if, if somebody comes into your bedroom in the, in the dead of night and you can't see them, it's pitch black, and you grab something that is there, you're worried about a threat to your life, and you grab, oh, I don't know, a great big metal lamp or something off your bedside cabinet and smash him over the head with it, and he happens to die, then you'll probably get away with it because it would be considered reasonable force based on the circumstances. The problem is the actual law itself and the guidance from the Crown Prosecution Service is still quite vague, so you don't really know where you stand. And the big problem as well, at the moment you're going to do this is a moment of high stress, you know, probably the middle of the night, the, it's pitch black. You really shouldn't have to be thinking about what am I going to do, is it proportionate or not? What should happen really is you should be supported through the process afterwards by the police because you've taken action yourself. Jack, stay where you are. Let's, let's bring Ashley and Luton in. I, I gather Ashley's had a, a situation fairly recently. Morning to you, Ashley. Good morning. What happened to you? Um, basically, I came home from work and my front door was open a little bit. When was this? Uh, uh, this was uh, about a couple of months ago. Yeah. And um, I had my keys in my hand anyway because I was prepared to open my door. And um, when I saw that my door was open a little bit, I put my key in between my knuckles, you know, just to arm yourself because um, I didn't know... A part of me thought that maybe my housemate had accidentally left the door open because it had happened once before, but when I walked in, there was somebody in my living room. He's come out into the hallway as I've walked in through the front door. Uh, front door. And um, I basically just said to him, get out of my house with, you know, a bit of extra wording, shall we say, that I can't say on the radio. Yeah. Um, and I, um, I sort of made myself look big and intimidating. He looked terrified. Uh, he didn't get away with anything, and I let him go past me. He ran off. I called the police straight away, um, and within an hour or so, they caught him. Um, why? Actually, why didn't you? Why didn't you jump on him? Why? Why didn't think, you punch him in the face and pin him down on the floor and phone the police and say, "Look, I've got this little tow rag here on my floor. Now get yourself <laughs> round here and arrest him." I think the thing is, and I've, I've thought about this ever since it happened 
it's one of those situations where people say they would do it, or people say they would hit them or do whatever they would. But generally speaking, you don't know what you're going to do until it happens to you. And I didn't, I'm, I'm generally, I'm a flight over fight kind of person. And the fact that I even stayed where I was and made myself look intimidated was probably beyond what I would normally do. But I, if he had attacked me, I, I mean, I got into fights at school. I wasn't a bad kid, but generally, you know, people bullied me. So, and I fought back. So when people come to me, I will fight back. And if he had tried to get me, I probably would have hit him. But the fact is that he wasn't ready to hit me, and, so I let him go. And is that not the reality, Jack? You know, most people, they may like the idea of taking a burglar down and bopping him over the head with something that you've got lying on the bedside cabinet, but, but the reality is that most of us haven't really got a clue. So this survey, it's, it's all just bluster. I think it's just people expressing what they think they would do and also hopefully expressing that they would have the right to do that and be supported if they did it. The big problem is, as, as has been said, you don't know what you're going to do and that's the fear. So with the guidance we have, you might end up in court because you take the action at the time you think is correct. But if, if, for example, Ashley had behaved differently, if he, if he with that, that key between his knuckles, had decided to punch that burglar repeatedly in the face and the, the key all gouged that guy's face, even though that guy, it would appear, from what you're saying, Ashley, the guy wasn't actually threatening to you, he just wanted to get out of the house. Yeah, essentially. So if, if Ashley had really kind of given him a battering with that key between his knuckles, would that have been proportionate? Would that have been fair? And should the law have protected Ashley? I think the law should have protected Ashley. Someone has invaded his personal property, his personal space. They have no right to be there. I think when a burglar enters your home, they leave their human rights at the door. So if he had wanted to hit that burglar, he be more, should have been more than entitled to and should have been supported. OK, well, let, let's explore this a bit further then. So Ashley comes home. The scenario that he, he described, he, the front door is slightly open. He sees this guy... And he goes absolutely berserk. He runs to the kitchen, he grabs a great big carving knife, he comes back in and he stabs that burglar through the heart and kills him in his living room. Would that have been okay? So this is, this is the issue I, th I think you have, is because we're talking sort of in theoreticals, it's very difficult to say what would and would not have been right at the time. Yeah, but and this happened to Ashley recently, and he, you know, all these th possible scenarios could have occurred. Well, I, I think, to be perfectly honest, he, he would have had the right to do that. If he was def felt he was doing the right thing to defend his private property and that's what he wanted to do, he should have had the freedom to do it. Even though that... that how old would you say the guy was who was burgling your property, Ashley? Um, he was late 20s, early 30s. Late 20s, early 30s. Probably a druggie. He was probably a drug addict, and he probably was just trying to get some money in order to get his next fix. He was probably someone's son. He may well have, you know, let, let's say for sake of argument, he lost his mum and dad in a tragic accident when he was a child, got into drugs because he was so unhappy, and... A few years down the line, he finds himself in Ashley's house burgling him. Does he really deserve to be stabbed when he was posing no physical threat to Ashley? The problem is Ashley wouldn't have known that he would pose no physical threat. Ashley would have had no idea that the, the guy himself might have been carrying a weapon, might have got violent. So someone reacting straight away and doing what they, they think is right at the time, they should be supported with that. Um, looking back at it now, Ashley, do you have any regrets that you didn't do anything? Um, I think yes and no. Like, I think a part of me kind of did feel like, oh, if I'd hit him, you know, he would have deserved it. But at the same time, you know, I handled it, as, as far as I'm concerned, I handled it brilliantly. I, I made myself intimidating, and he didn't get away with anything, even though he had, you know, he, he'd put, um, he'd taken like, this big duffel bag out of my bedroom, because um, my bedroom's on the first floor, so my bedroom would have been the first thing he went into. Um, and then he'd taken a duffel bag out of my bedroom after realising that I've got absolutely nothing of worth in my room. Yeah. Um, well, I'm just he's, pleased he's that... He's taken I... laptops, he's, he's gone to unplug my TV, and the fact is he got away with nothing and he got caught and he's been convicted. I'm pleased um, that you, you weren't hurt in the process. Ashley, thank you so much for your call, and thank you, Jack Hart, from the campaign group The Freedom Association. If you want to drop me a line with your thoughts on this, do you think it's foolish or brave to confront a burglar in your own home? 81333 on the text. Start it with 3CR. Yeah. <laughs>